Hello guys and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to make I'm going to restart the uh Minecraft TARDIS survival with a completely new world. That was the old world um from the first one that I've did, but I died. So and all my stuff completely disappeared so I'm going to restart this TARDIS let's play um hopefully I don't die this time hang on I hate when it does that where it says experimental features even though it's all of Minecraft's default settings Right. Okay, here we are in a quite open open world. So, let's hope this um, episode doesn't go as bad as the episode I just tried to record, where I died in a ravine, and I couldn't remember the way back. Um... Let's get all the necessary tools. All these some lava right off the beginning, right off the bat. That's good. Lava and sand, right off the bat. That's some. That's some good stuff. There's some good stuff right there. Some good old stuff. Now I'm just trying to get the early game goals done as quick as I can. And since we've already got iron, since we've got iron, that'll speed, definitely speed things up. Um, let's make torches. Those in the four slot. Hang on. No, it is on normal. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I already hear mobs. Let's not go towards the mobs just yet. Let's stay, like, out of the caves and just collect materials. Like, for things. Like, armor. Furnaces. Um. Yeah, I was concerned about coming down here because now 
I don't exactly have a way, confident way back up. Well, a clean way of going back up. Building up just seems all messy and, and jagged. Okay, so we are now on the surface again. Uh, we've almost got enough to make a furnace. A hint, a tip that um, Minecraft players always have is keep your wooden tools on you so you can smelt with them. If you don't have any coal on you. Because they always smell at least one thing per piece. So each wooden tool. So each wooden tool at least makes one iron. So keep that in mind. Very much in mind. Okay, so now we've got all the basic tools that you need. It's time to go. Well, find somewhere to set up shop, I guess. Because that's the mistake that I did uh, in the last one. Was I tried um, looking for things without having a primary um, place. Primary base set up, like with all the equipment and stuff. So I just died. Um, so in this one, I'm gonna at least make a base where I can store all the like Tardisy components. So if I do happen to die, I don't lose any of the bits used for like Tardis related crafting. Because that's what happened last time. Um, so, if we can find a village, that'd be good. If we can't, then no. If we can't, then it's no biggie. If we ever get the TARDIS, we're gonna incidentally find one on our travels. Or the TARDIS can um, locate one. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's get going. Um... I'm probably going to make a really long um, episode for this Let's Play and have it go out as a premiere, premiere video because I've never used 
actually had set a premiere video before. So yeah. Be on the lookout for if I do set one. The episode length will probably be like more than what I usually do. So probably more than um twenty to thirty ish minutes. If you're wondering why I'm gathering sand, it's because one of the crafting recipes involves sand. So, it's good to get prepared now. So, in front of spawn is a giant mountain, and then behind spawn is a, is a spruce biome. Win for a good one here. By the looks of it. I mean, there's also the f possibility of. If we make a base anywhere, and then we get the TARDIS, um, there is the valid point of we might just abandon the base that we built and make the TARDIS into our base. Then we'll have to remove. Then we have to move anything from the TARDIS if we want to change the console room. That's if if we unlock any other consoles. But we might um just stick with that the one console that the game gives us. Not the abandoned type of the console. Because the first thing you're given when you find a TARDIS is an abandoned type of that cons console room then you need like a hundred Archon energy to change console so ow uh, right so we need to find Um, so what I wanted to do was, I need, um, a welder, a, um, consoscope welding instrument, so consoscope iron. Which is this thing. So I need to get what's going there. So I need to get iron bars, glass, um, exotronic circuits, and iron ingots. So that's why I grabbed the glass near the beginning so what I'm gonna be what I'm gonna do is how long has this episode been only 14 minutes so what I'm gonna do is when I find somewhere that looks like it has a lot of stuff that I can grab um then yeah, I'm gonna grab all that stuff and we'll be good. 
But I do need to go really underground at some point. Do need to go really underground to get some gold. Um. Have to go really far underground. Um. Because gold only spawns at like. I don't know. Y spawns at Y thirty, I think. I really need to uh, cook some food. Some food. To keep me, keep me going, I'll do that at some point in this episode. Um, um. Okay, um, I wasn't exactly looking at the screen, so I was jumping in a straight line and jumped into a wall, apparently. Is this just an, like an island in the middle of nowhere? Um... I'm getting attacked by sand, but okay. Um, once again, not focusing on where I'm jumping, I'm just going in a straight line. And if I so happen to fall in a hole, I don't care. <laughs> okay. That's a water pool. There's nothing there. Need somewhere that looks like it has a lot of stuff. If I get copyright claimed for humming the song, I'm going to be mad. Okay. Here's somewhere that looks like it has a lot of stuff. Or at least has stuff. Goes quite deep. 
and I'm out of torches. Um, I think I should get a lot of wood before coming down here because I'm out of wood. I've got like I've got only four stick, four sticks left. But I'm getting quite a bit of iron from here already. And we're still on the surface. Okay, so. Just a quick phone break. You do not mind, guys. Um, okay, we're lucky we're in a forest. Um, still need a few more logs. I'd say twenty six is fine for the moment. Get some saplings. So we can plant trees in the TARDIS probably. If the TARDIS if the TARDIS will allow it. Might start making a Gmod TARDIS video. Let's play at some point. It's probably gonna be the next video that I that I start doing. Whee! Oh, skeleton! Mine shaft. down here now oh okay um hmm so I came down here not really prepared for that um yeah um I wasn't totally prepared to find a mine shaft, so that's what I was trying to find um, in my last one. 
before I died. So I wasn't expecting to actually find one. But apparently I did, so let's make another furnace so we can smell up to slip the little bit of iron we have. And yeah. Wait, oh, we can make, oh, this is from the ARS egg, which is there. So, yeah, um, so we've got, um, some food now. Let's at least get a little bit of protection. We need at least something. What if I just equipped food? Okay. Um, so we need a little, at least a little bit of armor to get through this. And then a shield as well would be a good idea so bang shield offhand okay so we have a shield now so we should be able to take on a few things um just let the water flow back in so we can escape this place. Let's go up here first. Oh yeah, there's poisonous spiders in mine shafts, but don't need three torches there. Need only one. Oh shit! No, Enderman. Out. Shit. No. But. Jeez, I am not prepared for this. Go. I am not prepared to venture in a mine shaft. Not in the slightest. Oh, jeez. Because normally, when I venture in a mine shaft, I most of the time have um all iron, but not today. So you know what? Axe, but I did not mean to do that. So just for my own safety, so you don't hear me freaking out every two seconds. 
because that's what will happen. Is I'm going to switch it to peaceful mode and get myself full iron, and then switch to diff, and then switch to difficulty back. Because at least with full iron, I'll be at least confident enough that I can take on a take on this place. Sorry if you guys can't see. Because YouTube's some um, compressing thing. Um, does it too much? <laughs> so let's get. Full iron, like I said. Stop this. Um, name tags, wheat, bones, take the bucket. Probably, probably, um, hang on. Not, not that button. That's my Windows button. There we go. Take the screenshots of... Take the coordinates of that spawner. So when I some eventually get the TARDIS, I can fly back here. Which is exactly what I said in the previous episode that I tried to record. But now I'm not going to know that a TARDIS is near me. Because I don't have... Because I don't have um, the TARDIS's... Um, this, the pocket watch. Because what the pocket watch does is it goes crazy if there's a time anomaly nearby. Or, like, should I say, a broken TARDIS nearby. Take, not taking the whales. Oh, dumb! Clog my inventory, which I'm already pretty much doing. But do I care? Honestly, no. In <laughs> all. Wait, there's the spider spawner. I'm gonna do the common thing, which is destroy that. Because I can deal with all the normal mobs. The normal mobs, normal mobs are fine. It's just the fucking poisonous, poisonous ass spiders. Poisonous uh, spiders that that the um annoying thing. So Jesus Christ.
And the way I died in the previous um, episode that I tried to record was by was by a creeper getting shot into my tunnel. It was uh, by a creeper getting shot into my cobblestone tunnel by a skeleton. Yes, I built a cobblestone tunnel. Don't judge. I built a cobblestone tunnel, and then, oh, a skeleton targets me, ends up hitting a creeper into my tunnel, the creeper explodes, and by the time my shield's up, I'm dead. <laughs> because the creeper explodes by the time my, sh um, the animation for my shield going up happens. Hey! A ravine. Nice. Oof. Right. Got rid of both the um. But, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, boop, 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 don't have any coal. Um, I'm gonna use a wooden log. Screw it. Gonna split it between two. So, now, back to normal mode. Oh. The wooden logs give out that quickly. Dinner bar. Ironically, I'm not out of iron, but I'm out of coal. Out of the gold, out of these black stuff. Uh, okay, more iron. Went no, I didn't go down this way. I'm right, I'm literally right here. So I need to split there, and the other two there. Okay, um. I am on normal mode again, right? Yes. And then I need a the legs. And 
and full iron. Yes. Nice. Let's just wait until we can do this. Because my old stone pickaxe is almost gone. So now let's continue searching. Cytron crystal. No, Exotron crystal, sorry. Yeah, if I did that, the whole thing was gonna update. Whoa! I'm more on edge now. Because I heard that. I heard him drop. Creepers are the most annoying mobs in all of Minecraft to deal with. So I'm not taking any chances. Whenever I hear a creeper, I'm just ready with my shield. I need as many crystals as I can get my hands on. Because pretty much every thing in this mod requires at least one. Not going in the mine shaft again. Even though I've removed the spider spawns, still don't want to. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. I don't even have an iron sword yet. And yet there's all and yet and yet there's more mobs to take on. Oh Jesus Christ. Um
Oh shit. Is that from another mine shaft or the same one? Whoop whoop. Um. Right, I'm gonna end this episode here. If you guys have enjoyed, drop a like. And peace out.